you always went through a really dark time when the band broke up, which is difficult enough in itself. But you sadly lost your mum sure. as well. Who would you say was your hero that got you through that time? Uh, I think my faith. You know, I, I meditate every day, depending on my schedule. Uh, ideally, between three or four, I start for an hour. I, I pray and meditate. Um, and I think the humbling side of that, but also the silence, solitude is a great assistant in recovering. Um, so for me, I think my faith, God, and, and my beautiful family. My wife is incredibly supportive and, uh, and my friends and family around me. But the, the silence and the addressing of one's issues and internal yeah. pain was Can a you risk. Do that every day? A, that would never miss it. If I'm filming, uh, playing music, whatever I'm doing, writing, whatever, I'll always, I'll never miss it. I think everyone should try it. Even 10, 20 minutes a day would change your life, for sure. And wasn't it the loss of your lovely mum that brought you and your brother back together again? Because you had a few years where you weren't getting on so well. Yeah, well, the, well, the meditation started, a friend of mine, Amanda, who said she'd had a dream from my mother saying, you must meditate more, and I would, obviously, you listen to your mum, so... Uh, but my brother and I were like, you know, the clock is ticking for all of us, and I yeah. think it... Mm. We realised that, you know, let's use every possible second we have to love each other and, and to be very verbose about that and uh, because one of us will leave first. So we've got between now and that day to represent each other, our love for each other, so that's how we live. Mm. You've got a, a, a film crew following you around mm. today. Why, what, what's going on? They weren't allowed to come in here, by the way. They said, <laughs> uh, get out. But um, they're basically, there have been a lot of offers to do documentaries over the years, and it's all somewhat sensationalised. Uh, you know, looking for the suffering and the hardship, and the, you know, 20 odd years ago. And I think we've all, I'm bored of reading it, but this particular Full World, which I think is one of the, the best companies out there, the producers of The Late Show in Los Angeles approached us to do somewhat of a legacy documentary about our lives very privately behind the scenes and the journey from the end of Brass, not the, all the crazy times, but until this, this day. And I think November will be the end of that. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a feature-length documentary. I think briefly comes out in theatres. Then they're going to do a documentary when it comes out on DVD and include the a reaction. full concert okay. as well. So it's well, basically right. the road to the O2. That's not the title, but yeah. it's a very informative, honest, truthful uh, documentary. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, we really look forward to seeing that, especially because we're going to be on it. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, um, there you go. Uh, the, nice. the reunion tour is at the O2 Arena the 19th and 20th of August. Yes. Is that right? Oh, thank you so much. Luke Goss. Thank it's you. A pleasure.